Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be showing how you can represent binary numbers in base 10. This problem can be found in your free online applied discrete math textbook and I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. Let's start with part A. So let's start with 10010. The way I want you to think about this is that there are five powers of two. On the right side we have two to the zero, then two to the one, two squared, two cubed, and two to the fourth power. Now I want one of these and one of these. I don't want, because there are zeros here, I don't want this one, I don't want this one, and because there's a zero right there, I don't want that one either. So what I'm adding really is two to the power of four plus two. So two to the fourth plus two to the one power. At the very end, I add my powers of two, which is 16 plus two, which is 18. For part B, we have one zero zero one one. So the only difference between this problem and the last problem is that among the different powers of two here, I want two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, and two to the power of four. And I'm gonna add up these terms. So my answer is two to the fourth power plus two to the first power plus two to the zeroth power, which is 16 plus two plus one, which is 19. So the first answer was 18. The second answer was 19. Let's do part C, one zero, one zero, one zero. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six powers of two. I don't wanna add all of them. I just wanna add two to the power of one, two cubed, and two to the fifth power. I don't need two to the fourth power because of that zero. This zero means I don't need two squared, and this zero means I don't need two to the zeroth power. So now I just add up all my terms here. Two to the fifth plus two cubed plus two to the one power is 32 plus eight plus two, which is 42. So the answer to C is, is 42. Last but not least, we have part D, which is one zero zero one 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 zero 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 as you can tell we're gonna have to add up a lot of powers of two now because we've done three of these so far we just have to keep track of what powers of two that we need this zero corresponds to two to the zeroth power this zero is gonna have an exponent of one this zero is gonna have an exponent of two that zero is gonna have an exponent of three and so this one is gonna have an exponent of four. This one is gonna have an exponent of five, six, seven. This one is gonna have, is gonna correspond to a power of 10. And so I'm adding up two to the 10th power plus two to the seventh power plus two to the fourth power plus two to the power of one plus two to the zeroth power. The others are zeros and I don't need those terms. So two to the 10th power is 1,028 plus two to the seventh power, which is 128, plus two to the fourth power, which is 16, plus two to the power of one, which is two, plus two to the power of zero, which is one. And I get 1,175. And so that is in base 10. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.